Welcome to Just Call It In. on the screens right now, so we have no idea what you're voting on, and we also have no idea when in the scene it's going to happen. But your votes will be instantly tallied, and whatever you choose, we'll have to... Just, just roll, roll with, with it! it. dad's old radio props and getting a killer workout. I call them chore squats. <laughs> Think you can go squat somewhere else? No can do. I gotta keep this booty looking good. Searching how to make your brain forget the last 30 seconds forever. At least I'm working. You're supposed to be taking out the garbage. I'm on it. Blair. Let your big brother give you some life advice on the things that... A, you're my stepbrother. B, you don't have a life. And C, I don't need a C, because B was a pretty sick burn. <laughs> How about D, take out the trash? Fine, I'm doing it. Blair, you can't just slap stamps on a bag of garbage and mail it. Okay. Then you tell me what just happened. <laughs> if you're just tuning in with us, we are speaking with one of our favorite guests, Miss California, whose name is... <laughs> Miss California! Yes, Byron, I'm here to answer questions about my new school program. Right. The program that will get the kids to eat bananas. Uh, well, yes, it provides healthy lunches to children across the state. Ah, yes, an appealing issue that is ripe for our times. I'm sure the students will appreciate the fruits of your labor. We'll be right back with this guest after these messages. In the morning. Boom! That was like three fruit puns in two sentences. That has to be a record. Sweetie, you forgot to hype the backstage passes to Beyonce we're giving away next month. Sorry, but the gator overslept. Without a co-host, this morning's been bananas. <laughs> Stop doing fruit puns. Look, those tickets equal ratings. And as your general manager, let me remind you that nothing is more important than winning the monthly radio ratings. Nothing? What about our children? The children are a close second. I'm gonna get that stitched on a pillow. You're not funny. I'm a little funny. That's why you married me. No, that's why I hired you. I married you so I'd have one DJ I didn't have to pay as much as the others. 
Wait! How much are you paying the gator? Blair, have you finished your homework? Nope. And why not? Because I'm watching videos of circus clowns getting attacked by animals. Blair, I don't want you watching videos of people getting hurt. They're not people, Mom. They're clowns. Blair, that's your older brother. You're only one week older than me. Yep, yeah, but I skipped a grade. So even though I have the body of a sixth grader, I have the mind of a seventh grader. No, you don't. You're right. What sixth grader has washboard abs and can open a soda bottle just by flexing his butt muscles? <laughs> Tell me that's not how you open this. Ask yourself, have I ever offered you a soda with the cap on? <laughs> Ta-da! What is that? It's my career day presentation to your class. I made a photo collage chronicling my journey from 20 years in the military to being the manager of Beats 101. Mom! I need wow factor. Last year, Becky Sparks' mom brought free frozen yogurt for the entire class. I need to beat Becky Sparks and win career day. I don't think career day is a competition. Everything's a competition. <laughs> the gator is still not here, and I need a sidekick for the next segment now. Dad, I can't be on the radio. I have no formal radio training. I hate to break it to you, but deep down, I'm not the cool, calm, collected guy you think I am. My ears are ringing. There's a tightness in my chest. My life is flashing before my eyes. Your wedding was beautiful, by the way. Relax, buddy. Nobody's forcing you on the air. <sighs> Thanks. Last time Dad put me on the radio, I froze up and started stress crying. It took me a year to lose the nickname Lil Wah Wah. I'll go on the air. Great. Come on. Oh. You're gonna... Okay, audience, you see your choices. One, two, or three. You guys vote on what you want to have happen next. Our actors are leaving the stage so we can prepare your choice. Lock in your book. First one just happened. We're ready. Let's go. Whoa. Okay, that's it. Votes are in. Let's go back to the scene. And action! So, what are we doing? Oh, you're gonna love this. These are the Beyonce tickets. I forgot to... Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's check this out. As you know, on Thursdays, we play Breakfast Barf Bonanza. <laughs> This is a game where my daughter will make the grossest meal she can, and I have to actually eat it. The ingredients are on this tray right here. <laughs> we have mayonnaise, lima beans, uh, we have jalapeno peppers. What is that? <laughs> Chip filet fish, oysters, and crispy grasshoppers. Okay, you gotta make it. You're gonna make this. Let's go. Let's go with it. Lima beans. Mm -hmm. Is that may is that mayo? Yep. Oh, that's mayo! <laughs> <laughs> Grasshoppers look good. Grasshoppers. Ooh, some fish. Oh, no. oh, how about some oysters? That looks yummy. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, make it spicy. Oh. <laughs> I actually had a grasshopper burrito yesterday. Yeah, well, you're gonna have another one today. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. Great. Anything for my listeners, baby? Low key, this kind of good. The oyster sets it off a little bit in the back of my throat, but it's kind of good. Hold on, let's take a caller. Hey, Byron. Oh, uh, mm, oh. I'm, I'm loving this game, but it seems really unfair that the uh, little girl doesn't have to eat something. Oh. I think it's time you made something delicious for her. Yeah. 
Where did she come from? Oh, please. Let's see what we got here. Okay. <laughs> Baked beans, diced onions. Oh, okay. Gummy worms. <laughs> hot dog juice. Ugh. And sardines. <laughs> I told you to be nice, so now you're going to pay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out a little bit with this. Oh. <laughs> the the vanilla ice cream and the sardines gonna go well together. Go with it, go with it. Here it goes. still on the line. Oh, you're still on the line? Oh, hey! Yeah, you know what? You can't end the segment without singing the Breakfast Barf Bonanza jingle. The Breakfast... Oh, yeah! Yeah, you guys gotta I sing that, that jingle. I love that song. Okay. Breakfast... Breakfast Bonanza. Uh, Breakfast Barf Bonanza. We got grasshoppers. Yeah, grasshoppers. Fish and juice. Fish and juice. And when we hit and it, we love we you. We, we gonna make, make it do what it do. <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> we're out. Uh, uh, great job. By the way, sorry I upstaged you. Don't be. I can't believe you got on the mic and didn't start stress crying. Come on. <laughs> Never give me sardines again. <laughs> I can't believe you got in the mic and then start stress crying. Do I sense a little jealousy? Why? Because my little stepsister is becoming my father's favorite kid? Oh, and we have no favorites. I knew it. Dad married you just to get to Blair. He knew she'd be a great co-host, so he concocted this whole sham marriage just to get her on board. It never made sense. He's a free woman maniac, and you're a by-the-books army lady. Next thing you know, Blair's living on Easy Street while I'm shipped off to Antarctica to boarding school. Our school bus hits a snow drift. I get attacked by a polar bear, and all they ever find in me is my tennis shoes. I win. <laughs> You're doing that thing that got us kicked off that airplane again. <laughs> Look, just because your father and Blair have similar interests doesn't mean he doesn't love you. Nobody's replacing anybody. Mom, you don't have to come to Korea Day anymore. I asked Byron instead. What? <laughs> I was right. <laughs> What's with the Byron shrine? Oh, I'm just putting out some photos of all the good times Dad and I have had, just to remind him that I'm a son. <laughs> Check this out. His dad and me riding bikes when I was five years old. Those training wheels are so adorable. Yeah, Dad's never been good at riding bikes. <laughs> That's right, Connor 2007. I am on your team, but I got you anyway. What are you gonna do about it, you little punk? <laughs> Your mom's been playing that video game for, like, four hours. Yeah, that's what she does when she's mad at me. <laughs> Gotta say, picking my dad over your mom for career day might be what's making your mom upset. Maybe you should talk to her about it. Mom and I are not so good at talking about... Feelings? Bingo. <laughs> we have other ways of dealing with our emotions. Aha! I got a tank now, you little twerps! Eat! Tank! <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go take this garbage out to the mailbox. Hey, Rachel. Seems like you're just attacking your own teammates. I'm teaching them a valuable lesson, Owen. You can never trust anybody, including your own daughter. Do I sense a little jealousy that Blair picked my dad over you? Maybe a little bit. Look, I know the most important thing is for my little girl to crush all the other little girls in her class. I, I just wish she wanted to crush them with me. Here, put these on. 
A little workout always helps me relieve tension. I mean, I'm glad she gets along with her new stepdad, but I don't want to suddenly be the not fun parent. Don't be silly, Rachel. It wasn't sudden. According to Blair, you've always been not fun. What? You see, I'm tired of everyone seeing me as some sort of buzzkill who just nags everyone all the time. And I'm also tired of Byron not hyping the Beyonce tickets enough, no matter how many times I nag him about it. I know, those tickets equal ratings. Exactly. You get it. Ow. I get it. Ow. Why doesn't anyone else get it? Ow. I'm cool. Ow. I'm fun. Ow. I know how to dab. Dabbing on my haters. <laughs> Rachel, hmm? please promise me you'll never do that again. <laughs> Sorry. But, you know, I think I'm realizing this career day thing is bothering me more than I thought it was. Maybe I actually do need to talk to Blair about, um, about how I, um, how I... Phil? Yes, that thing. Hey, guys! <laughs> I found one of my old radio props while I was hunting for stuff for Blair's career day. Isn't it awesome? It's a catapult. The gator and I used this last Thanksgiving to play frozen turkey dodgeball. I thought I told you to throw this thing away. You did, but funny story, I didn't. <laughs> well, I really don't think this is a good idea for career day. I know you don't, which is how I know it's going to be awesome. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Blair, I think you should listen to your mom here. She's the responsible parent. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's a fact. It is a fact. Another Another fact. Okay. Guys, 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 everybody relax. It's going to be safe. Ah! Oops. Just great, Blair. Now there's a giant hole in our roof. We're exposed to the elements. Lightning could strike us. Raccoons could crawl in and bite us. Our plants could get too much sun. <laughs> It's time to lock in your vote. Just roll with it! Yeah, I want to see what's going to happen to me. Let's do this! Okay, votes are in. Now back to the scene. Just great, Blair. Now there's a giant hole in our roof. We're exposed to the elements. Lightning could strike us. Raccoons could crawl in and bite us. Our plants could get too much sun. Oh, and raccoons coming through the roof would be ridiculous. <laughs> Roofer, by the way. <laughs> Good news is I cleared out all your gutters. Bad news is I think I found a hole in your roof. Yeah. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Yeah. yeah, thank you for that. Oh, but uh, I should mention, I think the reason that your gutters are all messed up is because I, uh, I saw a big old bunch of birds build a nest up there. Just so you know. <laughs> Oh, and that's supposed to be good luck. It doesn't taste like it. <laughs> well, great. Just great. Now I've got to move all my pictures so they don't get messed up. <laughs> you see, Blair? You see how your actions affect other people? <laughs> is a big bird. <laughs> I, I think mom is right, Blair. No catapult. We'll have to think of something else. Thank you. Getting this dumbest idea ever out of here. That's not true. I've had a ton more dumber ideas than this. So, Blair. Blair Ski. <laughs> My daughter. <laughs> Maybe you and I should have a little 
talk. Oh, boy. No, I know, I know. I don't like it either. So, I realize that not going to career day has made me, you know. What? Well, it's sort of, you, when you, it, it didn't, never mind. Cool. Good talk. <laughs> presentation. Now, throw your hands up and enjoy your free yogurt! Yay! Well, this is awkward. Why? These used to be my classmates before I skipped a grade. Did I mention I skipped a grade? <laughs> Two seconds ago. Mom, you came. Of course. Everyone needs reinforcements. How are the presentations going? Not great. Everyone loses their mind over free froyo. Can I get cookie crumbles and sprinkles on mine? Of course. Becky Sparks is a legend! Yeah! <laughs> okay, class, our next presentation will be from Blair and her stepfather. Fun! Yay! When my mom started dating again, I was afraid she was going to marry some dweeby, gangly nerdo. <laughs> nope. But it wasn't for lack of trying. <laughs> <laughs> but I lucked out because my new stepdad is awesome. You probably know him from all the crazy stunts he does as the morning DJ on Beats 101, Byron Black. How would you guys like to be part of a live radio broadcast? We're going live in five, four, three, two. Byron and Blair in the classroom. Good morning, everybody out there in Radio Land. I'm coming to you live from my stepdaughter's classroom. Isn't that right, kids? Maybe we were wrong. Maybe this won't be a disaster. Blair, tell our listeners what we have planned. We are going to break the world record for office chair revolutions propelled by a leaf blower. Scratch that, here comes the disaster. Okay, now, so I'm gonna turn this leaf blower all the way up to five. Yeah, five seems like a mistake. You're right, five does seem like a mistake. Cause this sucker goes all the way up to 10. <laughs> Let's do 10! Let's do 10! Tell our listeners what's happening. Okay, everyone, it's that time again. Vote for your choice. Tell our listeners what's happening. This one for the history book. He's going around, he's going around again. I'm not sure what else to say here because he just keeps going around. And again. Please do not blame Blair. This is all my fault. I just got so cut off with trying to entertain you and your amazing class. No one's on the mic. This is dead air. Someone has to do something. The show must go on. Uh, hello, everyone. My name's Owen, but you listeners may know me as Low Wah Wah. <laughs> 
We may not have broken the record today, but everyone in this classroom was part of an event that they'll remember their entire lives. <laughs> remember it because it was a disaster. Well, would it make up for that disaster if everyone here got backstage passes to the Beyonce concert next month? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, and I don't have those tickets with me. <laughs> yes, you do, because I put them in your purse this morning. Oh, so you did. Well, I see why you skipped sixth grade. <laughs> what do you say, Rachel? Well, I am the fun mom. <laughs> so, um, everyone's going to Beyonce. Yeah! <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm going to meet Queen Bee. <laughs> mom, I can't believe you did that for me. You needed those tickets to win the monthly radio ratings. Yeah, well, you know, some things are a little more important than winning. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Mom. That's surprisingly on Mom of you. Thank you, Blair. I'm trying. <laughs> Thank you so much for these tickets. You have no idea what a terrible month I've been having. Someone keeps mailing garbage to my house. <laughs> for years to come. Yeah, in court. Who cares? We trash the dump and then send everyone to meet Beyonce. You were right, Mom. That was so much better than the catapults. Speaking of which, Dad, I thought you were going to get that roof hole fixed. I'm working on it. I called the construction company to come and take a look at the hole while we were out. Oh, uh, that's them. We have you not had enough. Okay, this is the last vote. Make it count. Lock in your choices. So whatever happens in this one, when you finally get to your group hug, as carefully as possible, exit the set the way you came and go on up in the audience and say hi to everybody. And let's go back to the scene. I called a construction company to come and take a look at the hole while we were out. Oh, oh that's them. Hello? Hey, Byron, this is the uh, construction company. We got some bad news. We made a mistake and accidentally scheduled your home to be demolished. Uh, we tried to contact our guy and tell him he had the wrong house, but we haven't heard back from him yet, so... <laughs> I got to look out for 